हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल फाइसाई फ्रॉम द पास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर्स वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द थ्योरी रिलेटेड टू एल एस एंड जे जे कपलिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर एंड फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू एल एस एंड जे जे कपलिंग एंड हियर वी हैव द प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन ओके दिस प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट वी हैव ए कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी सी ए एटम and we have a normal triplet level this <coughs> the the energy interval between the 3p1 and 3p0 level is given okay <coughs> now this here it is and also the energy uh, between the 3p2 and 3p11 is given and uh, this energy is here okay so what we have to do we have to show that these values verify the lande interval rule okay so let's solve this problem so lande interval rule it says that if we have a fine structure multiplet then the uh, the energy difference uh, then the energy difference or you say the energy interval between the two levels that is that can be written as delta ej okay that is the energy level between j plus 1 and j so we have two levels the first level is j level and second is j plus 1 uh this j j what is j what j is the total angular momentum quantum number okay right so this energy difference is given by twice of a where a is a constant into j plus 1 so if we see that we have two two uh, levels j plus 1 and j level and the energy difference the energy interval it is proportional to the larger of the two j values this is actually the lande interval rule okay so in this particular question we have to verify this rule right so uh, let's move on to other page okay <coughs> so what we have given in the in the in the in the numerical <coughs> that e1 minus e0 it is given and it is equal to it is equal to <coughs> 16.7 into 10 raised to power minus 4 electron volt okay let's say this is equation number 1 okay second thing that that is given in the question that is equal to e2 minus e1 this is this is 2 minus e1 and that is equal to 33 Point three into ten raised to power minus four electron volt. Okay, this is already given in the question. Now, according to Lande interval rule, e one minus e naught should be equal to twice of a into uh, j plus one. so uh, this is the highest level that is j is equal to 1 is the highest level so we must write 1 plus 0 and that should be equal to twice of a right or let's say this is this is equation number third <coughs> also according to the lande interval rule this e2 minus e1 that should be equal to twice of a and then uh, here we have 1 plus 0 and here this is the the level 2 is the highest level so we should write here 2 and that should be equal to 4 into a this is equation number 4 okay so we have this four equation <coughs> dividing dividing uh four by third if we divide the equation number 4 by equation number third we get 
e2 टू माइनस ई वन डिवाइड बाय ई वन माइनस ई नॉट ओके एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर ए डिवाइड बाय टू ए एंड दैट शुड बी इक्वल टू टू ओके नाउ इफ वी डिवाइड इफ वी डिवाइड लेट से दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव ओके नाउ डिवाइडिंग टू बाय थ्री If we divide two by three, we will have e two minus e one divided by e one minus e naught. It would be equal to three thirty sorry thirty three point three into ten raised to power minus four electron volt and dividing by. Sixteen point seven into ten raised to power minus four electron volt. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on to the page number third. Okay, so here we can write that e two minus e one divided by E one minus E naught. That is, you see, here we have thirty three point three. This can be cancel out, right? Electron volt can be cancel out. And if you divide this thirty three point three by sixteen point seven, it will become uh, it will approximately equal to two. Okay, let's say this is equation number six. Now the equation number uh, uh, from equation number five. this these these two equations these were uh, according to lande interval rule right so according to lande interval rule the the ratio of e2 minus e1 to e1 minus e2 that should be equal to 2 and here from the data that was given in the question we also get 2 so from Five and six. We can see that experimental value that the experiment value. <coughs> matches with the theoretical value okay which verifies the lande interval rule okay so we have solved this question uh, let's see it again so uh, we were given uh, to uh, a data of uh, 20 calcium okay a normal triplet levels were given and uh, here <coughs> we we were given the difference between these two levels uh, given by this and the difference between these two levels given by this okay so we had to show that uh, these values these are these were experimental value these verify the lande interval rule lande interval rule it uh, says that <coughs> the energy difference between uh, the two levels uh, it should be proportional to the the level which have the highest j value okay so <coughs> so according to lande interval rule the difference should be equal to this okay between e1 uh, the level 1 and 0 and the level 2 and 1 right this is given 
दिस डेटा दिस डेटा वॉज इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन राइट वी डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन फोर बाय थर्ड एंड वी गेट दिस एंड देन वी डिवाइड दिस इक्वेशन नंबर टू इक्वेशन नंबर टू बाय इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड वॉट वी गेट वी गट दिस टू सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स एंड फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड द राइट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल विच प्रूव्स दैट द एक्सपेरिमेंटल वैल्यू एंड द थ्रेटिकल वैल्यू इट मैच इज ओके सो दैट इज ऑल फॉर टूडे लेक्चर इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू ओके सो ओके बाय